You know, just for the record, hello, my diamonds, my beautiful Teletubbies and my Hershey Kisses. Just for the record, you have a lot of these dudes. They keep thinking that women are looking for a perfect man. Or, you know, like I heard uh, Kendra G say one time on her channel, you know, you women, you keep thinking that you, you, you want Jesus Christ. You know, you want these perfect men. And no, it's not that women are looking for perfect men. And no, I'm not looking for a Jesus Christ. I'm looking for someone who's Christ-like. You see, there's a huge difference. You have to be, mo a lot of women, I'm saying, women who are like emotionally and mentally healthy. They want someone who's Christ-like. Someone who knows how women are supposed to be treated based on the way the Bible has instructed, it makes it very clear how men are supposed to treat women and women are supposed to treat men. And if people would follow the instruction, everything would be great. And I'm talking about the New Testament. I'm not dealing too much with the Old Testament because in the Old Testament, women were treated badly. Men had all these concubines and wives and all that other nonsense. But you notice all of that occurred or was permitted before, before Jesus which is the New Testament. Jesus Christ came and put an end to that. A man is to be the husband to one wife. So all these other nonsense knuckleheads talking about, well, even in the Bible, King David, King Solomon, they had concubines and wives. God tolerated that. He did not condone it. He did not support it. He tolerated it. And he made that very clear when he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to set matters straight. But anyway, let me share this clip here with you with a beautiful, beautiful young lady who's trying to help these men understand. It's not like, come on, <clears throat> we're looking for perfection. Let me share this. Everybody can't have a perfect man out here. It ain't even enough of us around. Wait, I gotta stop that real Ain't it enough of us. Honey, you far from being perfect. From the way he looked, tattoos all on your neck, hair looking crazy, enough of us? Child, please, you don't even come close. Sat up here and allowed society to make a jackass out of you. <laughs> really? We never wanted the perfect man. We wanted an efficient. Everybody can't have a perfect man out here. It ain't even enough of us <laughs> around. We never wanted the perfect man. We wanted an efficient one. I don't think a lot of y'all males realize that y'all are more trouble than you're worth. Thank you. So you said we probably gonna, ha gonna have to go 50, 50, 60, 40. Okay. But I can do a hundred and still have a peace of mind when I lay my head down at night. Thank you. I can do a hundred and not have to worry about my pH balance getting thrown off or me having to go to the clinic back and forth area of the month because you want to go out and have a good time. I can do a hundred and just call a man with a horse when I feel like feeling a little something, something. <laughs> I can do a hundred and I ain't got to worry about no females coming to me as a woman. See, you got to be worth the trouble, baby. And a lot of y'all don't bring nothing but dirty pain, stress, and no bread. And don't let you not have no car. A lot of y'all don't even have no dreams or goals or ambitions. Like, what are we working towards? So, not to mention, we got this whole little fad going on. Gilbert Arenas, you know, where guys it's talking about a good show is a good show. So, yeah, it ain't a lot of y'all out here. And the rest of y'all uh, is looking a little suspect. So, I think we'll choose celibacy and solitude um, for 500 Alex. And uh, if we do decide to break that vow, we gonna make sure it's worth our while. She made a very good point when she said, you have a lot of these men, they don't understand that you 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 are a lot more trouble than what you're worth. You know, it's, it's just so much easier, like I said, to be single. And like she said, you know, if you want us to go 50-50 or you want, well, I like 50-50, but all women are not down with that. I, I could even do the 70-30 thing. You know, but all women are not feeling that. Um, and they're entitled to their, their feelings. I'm not going to get angry at them because, come on, it is what it is. That's you know, People are entitled to their views and their feelings without <laughs> feeling like they got to be thrown under the bus but anyway, or nailed to the cross. But um, like she said, 
You know, you 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 worth you you too much trouble. Constantly cheating, can't keep your eggplant where it belongs. And and that's stupid to me because all you're gonna do, the end point is all you're gonna do is bust a nut. That's the same thing you could do when you with your girl. I don't know any man, I don't know of any man that has ever been in with his girl being sexual and he didn't go to the promised land. That's the same crap you're going to get from the, some of the other woman. Or you feel that it's more intense with her? No. Look at the time of day it is. Because a man's testosterone is higher early in the morning, like 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. So, of course, his orgasm is going to be more intense. It's not that she was a better woman or she brings it out of you. know. Look at the time of day that it is. Don't forget that part. I also like the point where she said, you want us to do 60, 40, whatever, but I could do a hundred. I could pay a hundred percent of my own bills. Okay. We ain't got to do 50, 50. We don't have to, I could pay a hundred percent of my own bills and still have peace of mind. I could pay a hundred percent and, 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 and anytime I want to feel a certain kind of way, I could always have one of these dudes, you know, who's hung like a horse, a man with a horse. You know what I'm saying? To give me that feeling that I want to feel. And then after I get that feeling, your feet hit the floor. I could easily show you to the door. And you know how easy it is for women to get any woman. Any woman who has a JJ honey, can get a man. Any woman who's willing to do the financial heavy lifting and let this man uh, uh, just lay up on you and dog walk you financially can keep a nigga. I mean, excuse me, keep a ninja. Or, and a ninja, that's not a color thing. That's a behavior and an attitude thing. Any woman could do that. Anyone. So like she says, you know, I could I could pay 100% and I don't have to go through all the other crap. Let's listen and continue, girlfriend. Peace of mind when I lay my head down. Yep, peace night. of mind. I can do 100 and not have to worry about my pH balance getting thrown off or me having to go to the clinic back and forth area of the month because you want to go out and have a good time that's right every other month you i remember when i was married i was at the clinic every three to four months every three to four months that's how i knew dusty well that was before i was married i re, i knew he had gave me chlamydia you know what i'm saying you have so many wives right now as we speak that are walking around with either trick or chlamydia but they feel that because i'm married i'm safe no, honey, when you're married, you even more at risk because you don't feel that I have to wear protection when I'm with my husband. Like men don't cheat. Are you serious? Go ahead, girl. I can do a hundred and just call a man with a horse when I feel like feeling a little something, something. Hello. I can do a hundred and I ain't got to worry about no females coming to me as a woman. See, you got to be worth the trouble, baby. And a lot of y'all don't bring nothing. But dirty pain, stress, and no bread. And don't let you not have no car. See, I don't care about the car part. As long as you have an Uber or a Lyft account, that's fine. Because I don't drive. You know, I have glaucoma. And some people, they can't drive. You know, they may have health situations or certain things that prevent them from driving. But as long as a man has an Uber and a Lyft account, like I have an Uber and a Lyft account, and I keep $300 every month in my account. So anytime I want to pick up and go somewhere, I always have the money there. You know, like people make car payments. Some people's car payment is $250 a month, $300 a month. You have to, and then you, how much do you put for gas a month? Let's say $100 for gas. So that's $400 a month. So I keep $300, same thing. So I keep an Uber. And I'm too, I'm leery with men with cars because it makes it easy. I mean, they could cheat without a car, but a car, it makes it so much easier for them to zip, zip and cheat. Because I know of men who say, I'm going to the store, baby. They get in the car downstairs. They calling up their uh, prostitute or their sex worker telling her, yo, what you doing? Mm-hmm. I'm going to zip through real quick. She comes downstairs, get in his car, handle that doo 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 he pays her whatever. He goes to the store, pick up what he going to get, come back to the house, and you are none the wiser. Meanwhile, you know he ain't using no condoms with oral. He sit up there probably with trick or, cl or chlamydia, or he did some sex, and now your pH balance is all off. When you know you take good care of yourself, why is it that all the time my pH balance is messed up? What's going on? So that's why I'm not too keen with men and having a car. 
I'm not insisting on that, but you, you damn sure need to have cash app. You have to have Uber or Lyft, or you have to have PayPal, Venmo or something. A lot of y'all don't even have no dreams or goals or ambitions. Like, what are we working towards? So, not to mention, we got this whole little fad going on. Gilbert Arenas, you know, where guys it's talking about a good show is a good show. So, yeah, it ain't a lot of y'all out here and the rest of the y'all uh, is looking a little suspect. So, I think <laughs> we'll choose celibacy and solitude um for 500 alex and uh if we do decide to break that vow we gonna make sure it's worth our while okay there you have it ladies because it's no you know everybody knows about these dating apps if i want a man sheila true love right now i can have a man in this house within 45 minutes to an hour if i want to feel a little something something you know what i mean have mr horse come over handle a little something something and bounce we know about Tinder. We know about these other dating apps, Grinder. Those are just hookups. If I want a quick hookup, baby, I could have that right in the privacy of my home. Or I could just go to a certain motel and tell him to meet me over here and handle my business. And then after I, I'm satisfied to my fill, I I'm, I what go go to work, go come. You know, I could do that on my lunchtime. I could do it right now. I could pretend like I'm going to work. <laughs> And he don't know whether I'm going to work or not, not really. Or he don't know if I get off work early and I'm laying up with my little something, something on the side, Mr. Horse over here. So you see how it is? Relationships is tricky. And that's why I just say I vouch to stay single because I, I, I just need easy. You know, I have a lot on my mind right now and I'm focusing on spirituality, building myself up spiritually, making money. And trying to build a sisterhood in my communities. Those are the three things I'm focusing on. And always being available for my, my family and my bestie. My besties. I have three of them. So there you have it. And that's it. So when these men sit around here talking about there's not a lot of good ones like us. Around, first of all, that one who said that he's a good one. No, baby. Uh-uh. Not looking the way he looked. Hell no. Sitting around here with tattoos they got all on their face. Tat society is let you let me. You, well, let me tell you what I see. This is my opinion, and I'm entitled to it. All these tattoos and all of this nonsense. That's like a person who's weak minded, and they have let society make a jackass out of them. Because society saying this is cool, this is trendy, this is popping, this is happening. You know, now if you want tattoos and all of that, I can see if you get the henna. Because henna, that's not permanent. Like you see, they get the tattoos and that stuff eventually washes off and it's cool. But for you to p permanently d disfigure your body like that, all these piercings everywhere, and that's people who are usually attention addicts. And then you have people who, you, you, you are you thinking about your career and a job? Who's going to hire you with a bunch of tattoos all on your face, all on your neck, all on this and places you can't hide? Women sitting up here with tattoos everywhere. You want a a a a a a a a a a a a high powered man? He wants to take you to events. He can't take you no goddamn where looking like that with all these tattoos and all that crazy looking nonsense. What are you serious? And you want a a, a high value man, child? But you walking around here looking like a billboard. That's my opinion, because let me tell you, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Now, you have some people, they love tattoos. They think it's sexy. They think it's, uh, I don't know what the hell, where the head is at, but okay. And I'm not mad at you. You're entitled, again, to your viewpoint. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. 